Hey, that's Mike and Holly, Alex, Eddie, and Kelsey. Lexi, do you know? Oh, do you know what we're making? <laughs> it's just her all up in your grill. <laughs> we are making homemade dog biscuits. Chelsea found a recipe all on her own for banana oat dog treats. It's using one banana, quarter cup of peanut butter, two cups of oat flour, which we don't have, but what I'm going to do is grind up oats. In the uh, um, blender. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try it in the Ninja and see if I can make my own. I don't, I don't know. If not, I mean, it's fine. It's just oats. She's had oats yeah. before. Let's first try to do the flour, the oats. I don't know if the ninja will pulse it enough. Looks pretty good. Not only did it work, it worked really well. <laughs> That's seriously I'm quite pleased with that. I just mixed it up in the ninja and it like made a nice powder. Where are you going? The birds are going crazy. I hear them, but I don't see them. I wonder if it's the baby birds. Like, I wonder if they hatched. Sorry, distracted. <laughs> distracted <laughs> by birds. Okay, I just realized we could probably do all of this in the ninja. Oh, they can't see your face. Dang it. I'm here. <laughs> we could probably do all of this in the ninja because um, you're supposed to like mash up the banana and like mix this all up, but we could probably just do it all in here. What do you think of that? Or do you want to go should, ahead and do it? I think we should probably follow what she's doing. Oh, okay. Or else something. You're probably right. <laughs> okay, so mashed banana, what's next? Uh, ripe banana, one for peanut butter. Quarter she is natural peanut butter, but we're just using Well, that's just, we're just the using peanut butter. This creamy. That's what we always use for pixie. It's, that's just what we're using. It's fine. pretty dirty. It doesn't have any bad ingredients in it, so. Not really much produce, but. Pretty good. Adding peanut butter. Okay, we gotta add a tablespoon oh. of melted oh, you know this coconut. coconut oil. So Chelsea's gonna add a tablespoon to this little bowl and then we'll pop it in the microwave to melt it because ours is definitely solid. Yeah. Is that good? Uh, well, it looks like you need a little bit more. Somebody is. Anxiously awaiting. Here, you want to lick this? Don't bite it. You can lick it, but don't bite it, okay? All right. How's that? There we go. Whoa. <laughs> that might be too much. So we added our oat flour that we made, and Chelsea's mixing it up. It's going to turn into a dough that we roll out and use cookie cutters. We just so. have a normal gingerbread because that's the only yeah. thing on that we could find that wasn't packed away. <laughs> Our cookie cutter is just a gingerbread man. I mean, like. <laughs> okay, so we have. Pixie seems pretty ready. Why the tape isn't sticking? I don't know. I want to roll it out to about a quarter inch <laughs> thickness. Don't so. know what that means, but I'm going to roll it. Quarter, so, quarter inch. Let's roll it to the it's thin. Not, not that thin. <laughs> See, because then it'll break apart. Oh. Yeah, we don't want that. Heart. Heart. Oops. Yep, get right up to the edge. Push it down. And it's actually a pretty, I think it's a pretty perfect day to be doing this because it's kind of rainy and stormy out. Look. Oh, that's so cute. That looks good. Chelsea just cut out a star. Looks good. Where are you putting the shapes? You can put it there. I'll put it on the, on the board for you. Do you want a you. cupcake? Yeah. I don't think these are going to spread at all. So, cupcake shape. Pixie approves of all of this. All of it. She's licked bowls and spoons and oh. and she's going to have treats when it's all done. Finish with all the... Well, that's a lot of tiny, tiny oh, ones. Yeah, a lot of tiny ones, which I think those are a better size. All right, so we have to bake these <laughs> at 325 for 25 to 35 minutes. So I'm going to just do 25 and check them. All right, there they are. Aren't they cute? Out of the oven and cooled a little bit. So she should be good to try one. 
<laughs> I think she does. Oh, yes. It's got all the things she loves in it. Peanut butter. You gonna have one? Peanut butter and banana. She loves peanut butter and banana. And coconut oil, too. Not a whole ton of flavor because, yeah, <laughs> it doesn't have like added sugar or salt or anything like that in there. So <laughs> it sure smells good though, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're, they're cute to look at too. All right. You want to start with your, let's see, this is what we have. You picked out these ones. So do you want to put these over here? Um, how many seeds? It says to put four in each one because um, you sound good. we want to make sure they germinate. They're sweet pea flowers, and sweet I, dreams I mixed colors. colors. They are big. Well, we're going to have plenty of those left over to... Oh good, because they're pretty. All right, here you go. So just put these in... <laughs> Oh, oh, those are tiny. So these are huge and those are itty bitty. <laughs> okay, so let's start your sweet peas maybe like right here. Okay, so do I do, do. one in each or four in each? It says four, but these are big. <laughs> Should we just do like two in each? No, uh, no, let's see what we can fit. Maybe I'll... <laughs> it takes Only one up, can really fit. It takes up the whole hole. Oh, maybe we can like shove these in. What? Shove them in. <laughs> Just stick it in there. You I don't want... I don't want to... Oh yeah. my gosh. I haven't even seen it. Oh, there's a couple. Yeah. They are so tiny. It's like, okay, it's like one, pepper. This one's lavender. That one? feel funny just putting these four. Do you want me to do this since they're so yes. tiny? <sighs> Look like sunflower seeds. What is it? Uh, what is it? It's cucumber seeds. Do think, you? Think of when you <laughs> cut a cucumber open and the seeds. Yes. What do they kind of look like? Yes. Sunflower yeah? seeds. Yeah. <laughs> so when you, when you eat a cucumber, in the middle there's the little seeds. That's them. <laughs> Putting cilantro in this one. What does a cilantro seed look like? Whoa, it, uh, these are um, definitely big. Well, yeah, okay. Well, what happens when you eat? That's a cilantro right seed. Right there? Yeah, like in the. Hmm. Just a little round seed. Oh, there it is. I'm trying hey, to think where these, the, uh, know, so like the seed even comes from on a cilantro thing. I'm looking at these beans. These Big. Well, that, it, okay. if you look inside a green bean, it's oh, the thing. <laughs> it just says bean garden. Yeah, like when you open a green uh -huh. bean, it's the thing in the inside. <laughs> they're so big. They're cute. It's they're beans. big but tiny. They're medium. Okay, well, I'm not going to be able to fit <laughs> it's four. Jack and the beanstalk. I'm not going to be able to fit four. You and... probably only need. They're probably telling you to do that because one or two might not make it. Right, that's why they tell you that because chances are they're not all so four gonna sprout. Do We're doing two of them, green beans, so do two in each. The idea is this is our first time trying this system and we don't really know what we're doing. And I have a ton <laughs> of pots out in the garage where we can plant well, I, I got to think you so. could just scoop some soil and put them in those cups there. I can't fit the little... No, because then it'll fall through. This is like a sponge. These are like special little sponges that you get. Oh. It's soil. Of course. But it starts <laughs> out in sponge form and it holds Wait, its shape better. Otherwise, it would just dissolve into the water below. That's kind of not cool. What's that for? Well, that's power and that's for normal growth, enjoy light. And then I had it on the purple for grow, to encourage growth. No. So. That's sort of pulsing too. That almost looks purpley. And then I wanted, this is Chelsea's strawberries and I like having them close by oh, so that yeah. they have some light too. It'll help them grow. Good idea, huh? 
I'll have to see what else I can put in pots and maybe put right next to it for yeah. some growth. This thing doesn't plug it in. Like, it's touchy. Yes, it's very finicky. Finicky, fussy. No, it looks, like, <laughs> looks like I pushed it in. Is it better now? No, you I just had to. Haven't seen a flicker. Had to push it in a little no, bit I more. Touch it. Okay, so <laughs> we had to take the little flags out that say what they are so that we could put these little domes on. Okay, don't touch it. And, Michael, don't touch it. and Michael's like, I bet those dome, domes are useless. And I said, well, no, I, I think- useless. I said, you probably don't pointless. need them because well, you can grow this stuff. It's and I said, well, look at like the one was, had kind of like some condensation on it. I said, I think it's supposed to act like a little greenhouse and keep like some of that moisture in and help them grow. Once they, once they start to I don't want to say bloom, germinate, whatever, then those can come off. And then, you know how we placed four seeds in there? You're only supposed to keep one and let that one that's growing well, grow really well. So say we get four sprouts in one basket, I'll have to take out the other three and just leave one in there. So the other three, I'm gonna to have to figure out what to do with. <laughs> That's if they all four grow. You plant them into another pot. Yeah, which I have oodles of pots. Like last year, I just, every time I found a pot, I would keep it. And I have a ton of pots out in the garage so that I can plant things. Grow, babies, grow. 